or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. Full time MMA, MMA. nothing yeah. else. My life, man. Yeah. Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. You guys know what time it is. Awkward time. What in the what is going on, full time family? Ally Quinto versus Justin Gaethje is targeted to headline UFC Lincoln, but. I like Quinta just hit the big hashtag fake news. Now I'm wondering, holy smokes, I like Quinta duck your motherfucking taco because you might now get cut because we know those are the trigger words that get UFC fighters cutter than quicker than anything we've ever seen. Hell, that is the exact tweet that Yair Rodriguez sent out before being cut by the UFC, followed by hashtag real news. Now there's a I like Quinta saving grace here is he's not actually calling UFC or he's not, not actually calling fake news on Dana White, which is kind of what it seemed like with Yair Rodriguez. He's just calling fake news on the fight, and actually he's going along with what Dana White just said yesterday. Yesterday on the UFC Unfiltered podcast, Dana White came out and said that um, Ally Quinta is 100% out of the fight. This is the report yesterday. Dana White said that he's 100% out of the fight. And so literally today, it's interesting, like one day after Dana White said 100, he didn't say 99%, he didn't say 98%, he didn't leave no room for error. He said 100% Justin Gage, or I'm sorry, Ally Quinta is out of the fight. Well then today, Brent Okamoto reports that Justin Gaethje versus Ally Quinta will headline UFC Fight Night scheduled um, on August 25th in Lincoln, Nebraska. UFC had this one targeted for weeks and it's been agreed to, he's told. So. With that being said, I don't know what the hell is going to headline, you know, UFC Lincoln. It still could be this fight. Things could change. You know, um, one of the things I talked about earlier on Full Time MMA in the morning is maybe Dana White came out and said that yesterday to put some pressure on Ally Quinta to accept the fight. Because this is a fight the fans want. This is a fight both fighters have even, you know, mentioned wanting. On Ally Quinta's podcast recently, he came out and said he would love to fight Justin Gaethje, but he wanted to, you know, give him some more time to heal up, you know. And so Justin Gaethje came out and said, oh, yeah, sign the contract. Don't worry about me signing the contract. So it seemed like both of them were interested. Ally Quinta said, you know, it, it would possibly be happening later this year. Justin Gaethje came out and said, oh, yeah, sign the contract. So it seemed like both fighters were interested. But then Dana White came out and said, Ally Quinta is out of the fight 100%. He's, and, he, and he mentioned some stuff that we, we've seen signs of this in the past. Ally Quinta being kind of difficult to work with. He's got a job as a real estate agent. He doesn't necessarily need the UFC. On top of him doing the real estate, he's came out, spoke against the UFC, got his contract changed before his last fight, right? Um, he, he said that if you listen to his interview on the MMA Hour, he was like, yeah, I got a new deal. You know, like, um, it's pretty much a one fight deal and I'm gonna be fighting when I want. And if I don't like the fight, I'm gonna go do real estate. So he seems to be in a good position as far as that is concerned. But when you get a fight that the fans want to see, you can imagine Ally Quinta wanting more money. You know, he's one of those guys that seems to kind of know his worth. And even though a lot of the fighters might know the worth, Ally Quinta actually like acts on it. He's he'll, he's willing to sit out. So with that being said, this whole interesting is weird. I don't have the conclusive. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Hopefully we get to see Ally Quinta versus Justin Gaethje sometime later this year. It would be a great fight. Ally Quinta coming off that title loss to Habib Nurmagomedov at UFC 223. Justin Gaethje coming off of that epic performance and loss against Dustin Poirier. Both of these guys are the, the matchup. The, it would be an exciting style matchup. Both of them are essentially strikers. But would Justin Gaethje decide to use his fight IQ? Would he decide to use his wrestling this fight? Change it up on Ally Quinta, who might be expecting a slugfest? I mean, who knows? Would he be able to outstrike Ally Quinta, Ally Habib Nurmagomedov? Would Ally Quinta be able to come in here and find that chin? Who knows? It would be a great fight, a potential slugfest, potential barn burner. I mean, but we don't know what's happening with it as far as this goes. Um, but I mean, this this is news still. UFC Lincoln, Nebraska. Justin Gaethje, Ally Quinta targeted to headline it. That's the first we've heard about them potentially headlining that card. So. 
I'll keep you guys updated, but as of right now, it's definitely not official. And if you're listening to Dana White, it's actually 100% off. And if you're listening to Ally Quinta, he's calling fake news as well. So this is interesting. I'll keep you guys updated. With that being said, let the full-time family know what you think about a potential Justin Gaethje versus Ally Quinta fight in the comments. And as always, thanks for checking out this video. If you want to join the notification gang, make sure you hit subscribe. And also hit the bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to help this channel reach its full potential, consider hitting the PayPal link in the description or going to patreon.com slash full-time MMA and becoming a patron. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.